Rated PG-13. What's up guys, Middle Age Gamer here. We are playing Train Sim World yet again, and we are on the West Somerset Railway scenario list. I'm gonna go ahead and do Land Cruise. As you can see, we are live streaming at twitch.tv slash Middle Age Gamer. Got a lot of my friends hanging out, making this a much better scenario along the way. We have people to chat with and hang out with. Anyways, I'm gonna to try to read the description. I've been drinking a little bit, so it could be a little iffy. It says, having enjoyed a day of sun and sand, it's time to ferry all the tourists home. Operate a service down to Bishop's Leard, Iyard. I know I'm butchering that, like I said over and over again, to finish off the day. It looks like it's almost the full route, except for that little piece at the end right there. Let's go ahead and start it up. Wish me luck, guys. See what happens. I think so. I think Microsoft Train Sim should, or Microsoft should get back in the Train Sim game. All right, so let's get the train ready is what it says. I don't know why I have to climb up when it's like a baby step, but I'll do it. Okay. Just curious what the train looks like, how long it is. Okay, not very long. Set the brakes. Going the wrong way. Am I going the wrong way or not? There we go. Um, how? Oh, slow speed control. Huh. Oh. Oh, I'm standing. I thought I'd just change views. Like I've never seen that view before. Let's unlock the right hand side. I thought I found a new train cam view. Obviously, that's not the train cam view, unfortunately. Loading passengers here. I don't know if we're on any sort of timetable or not. Or if this is going to be like a Sunday cruise. It said it was one out of five difficulty, so it sounds like it should be relatively easy. I guess we'll find out in the end. Another thing I've been playing a lot of, um, and I put it on one or two of my YouTube videos, I've been doing a lot of Call of Duty. The brand new season, I think it's season five, is coming out pretty soon. I know a lot of people watching this don't play or want to play Call of Duty, but I've Especially when the new season comes out, I'm going to be grinding all the way up to rank 155. And I'll probably be live streaming it a lot. I know it's not my uh, my fan base per se, but I'll be doing a lot of that. Pretty decent setup, all the mode. Let's go ahead and lock the doors. I keep messing that up. All right, release the brakes and get moving. Let's go ahead and release them. Mm. Trying to figure out are my brakes completely off. I think they are. <laughs> At least you're honest, though. Uh. Unfortunately, I know I know everything about Intel and the uh, Nvidia products. Not, not so much the AMD side of things. I haven't followed AMD for quite a while. Although I know, I know you can make a beast of a computer for cheaper with AMD. It's just not the route I've done on my past couple builds. I feel like something. I almost feel like the brake's on, but it's not. I think we're just pulling more weight compared to the last scenario. Parking brake's released too, so that's good. Um, turn the tail lights on. We want the headlights on, they are on. What else? Let's go ahead and turn the gauge lights on as well. Yeah, the train definitely feels heavier. I'm curious to see how Train Sim World 2 feels. It's supposed to be a lot better, but the whole tractive acceleration or whatever they call it on there. I 
Yeah, I mean, just trying to think how long ago I'm. I put the i9 in quite a while ago. The the only thing that's relatively new is I did change out the motherboard, and I had to put in a new put in a new graphics card, which is the 2080 Super. But when I upgraded the motherboard, I could no longer use the same memory. I had to upgrade to a different style of memory. So that's new in there as well. Yeah, we're not moving very fast, guys. We are at under 10 miles an hour. We have to get under five miles per hour in a mile and a half for whatever reason. So I'm sure we'll find out. Uh, crunch, yes and no. The bulk of them will not be transferred over to Train Sim World 2. However, as the game is released and the weeks come up, you will be able to use some of the DLC you bought in the new game. I don't know if, it, if Reeves is still on here watching. He could probably give you some details on that. You could also watch some of the developer live streams or just go to Dubtail Games. And I think they have it on their website as far as what will, I guess, what you own could be used in the future game and when that, I guess, a, ability to use your old content will be allowed in the new game. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That's, that's a long time ago. Was it, the, was it called Titan Black or was it, I think it was just the regular Titan at the time. And uh, I'm not even sure if that was really meant for gaming per se. But it was a beast of a graphics card, and it lasts me a long time, too. I, th I think I still have it at my house. I haven't put it in to any other computer as of yet, as far as I know. It might be in my recording PC, but I'd have to look. Alright, so we're going to have to actually start breaking relatively soon. Oh, we're actually stopping at this location, it looks like, coming up. So I think I just read that wrong. Go ahead and coast since we're getting a little closer to here. I'm nervous. I feel like I'm going to really mess up this first stop for whatever reason. I don't know why. We'll see. game is definitely much louder on the exterior. So we have to actually get down to under 5 miles per hour first. I think we're doing okay on the braking, as far as I can tell. Let's go. Just want to get up to like 50, 60 miles an hour and knock out this route, but can't do that, unfortunately. And I'm not going to get there on time doing this, am I? So we do have, we do actually have a time limit to get there, which is unfortunate because I'm going super slow at the moment. Okay, preserve collect collection. That's what I was trying to say. Thank you, Reeves, for that. Appreciate that. Yeah, I should have braked a lot later. Almost to the point where I should restart the scenario, but I'm not going to do that.
Jesus. We're doing the five miles per hour that we have to do, but it's definitely slow. We're gonna be, what, two minutes behind probably going this pace. minute behind right now. All right, white pal, man. Go make some tea. I actually had tea this morning. Trying to uh, drink a little bit less coffee. Not that it's really working. I, it's almost like I need coffee to function and work in the morning, but it's also been giving a lot of, a lot of anxiety on top of that, which is not a good thing. God, I don't know. Should I restart the scenario, guys? What do you think? I guess to restart it because I'm so far behind schedule. Keep it going. We'll see what the next stop is, if I can go a little bit quicker, but I'm so far behind schedule at the moment. Not in a good way either. Take a look at the back of the train. I got the tail light on, which is important. Definitely happy with my new monitor though. I just got a uh, monitor that does 240 hertz. Of course, I think right now, let me just look. Yeah, it only does about 60 hertz on this game. Or maybe that's the frame rate I'm getting, I don't know. But super, super smooth. Definitely makes a big difference in games like Call of Duty. I don't know if it makes so much of a difference on games like this per se, but I can, this game feels smoother to me too, for whatever reason. No, Reeves, definitely uh, the info on the game is definitely what we need, so feel free to type away. Try to bring the amps up a little bit more to get up to speed. Unfortunately, we do gotta keep it under 10 miles per hour at this location, I think. Yeah, 10 miles per hour right here, for whatever reason. Get clearance up to 25 pretty soon. We do have to stop at Blue Anchor in 1.7 miles. So again, I'm assuming we're going to be pretty far behind schedule still, we'll see. Should be getting clearance to 25 here in just a second as soon as the back of the train hits that location. I haven't heard any live trains come through my area, but I will switch to the train cam as soon as I do. Should be in clearance any second now to at least 25. There's some thunder in the background at my house though, so we might be getting some more rain here in a little bit. There we go.
put some diesel fumes into there. Yeah, Reeves, like I said, I've only watched one of the uh, Q&As from Dovetail. I do need to watch uh, some more. And actually, Reeves, since you're on here, did they play the uh, the game plan, the Q&A for the uh, Bakerloo line? I think it's called the Bakerloo line, right? For London. That's the one I was really wanting to watch and get information on. The game may be pretty loud on the exterior. Sorry, guys. I don't know how loud that is for you guys. I've seen the trailer. I just saw, I thought I saw something from Dovetail Games saying they were going to live stream uh, the gameplay of the route, but maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, if we can get through this scenario, which is quite a long one, we will be giving away another free game at the end of the scenario, as long as we have five people in here. We got, looks like 17 in here, which is pretty crazy. Thank you guys for the uh, love and support. Definitely appreciate it. If you haven't followed already, please, please follow. I'm trying to get back into streaming. I haven't done this in, I mean, honestly, since Bree Bree back in the day, it was when I was really going hard at the streaming with him and doing the shot clock and everything else. A little bit of a downhill section, so we will just use the initial application of the brake as we need to. Throttle is, of course, off. And guys, if you could let me know, how loud is the exterior view? Is it too loud for you guys, or is it okay? So we've got some water to our left-hand side. Yeah, so we're actually supposed to be at Blue Anchor right now. Or in 10 seconds, and we're still got a half a mile to go. So I think we're going to be running behind schedule for the remainder of the trip. Thank you, Offroader. Appreciate that. Just want to make sure it's not like blaring for you guys for any reason. I do need to go ahead and start braking. slightly uphill now we're under 15 miles per hour which is good just over 400 yards to blue anchor and we're running probably about two minutes behind as of right now I have to actually give some throttle Maybe that's why the scenario is so long. What did it say, 75 minutes? Probably because we're stopping at every single location along the way. Throttle off, still going slightly uphill. Weird thing is we have a stopping signal up ahead. I'm not, not sure why offhand, but. Yep. I don't know if we started in Minehead or if we're going to Minehead, but yeah, we're going the entire way. I have to look at the map. Might look at it here in just a second, guys. So 
we're gonna unlock the left hand side this time. There we go. And I'm gonna try to do a train buy if I can. Oh, I don't know if this is a trailer park or resort area, given it's right next to the water, but it's like a bunch of trailers. Got just a second. So we started up here, heading down there. Doesn't say anything about cities on here or stations or anything, unfortunately. Hopefully that changes in Transim World 2. I don't know if they're going to make the route map a little bit more detailed or not, but that would be pretty cool if they did. Hopefully they do. Anyways, cheers to everybody. If you don't have yourself a drink, go get yourself a drink, hang out, relax. Okay, let's go ahead and lock the left-hand side doors. I'm gonna try to start it up from this section. Next stop is Washford 1738. I'm gonna to try to get moving as quickly as possible. Alright, Reeves, yeah. The labels on the map would definitely be awesome. Until it gets off in the distance for just a second. And we should be getting clearance to 25 miles per hour here in just a second as well. There we go, we've got clearance. some more whiskey about halfway through this. Anyways, watch for it's about a mile and a half out. Doing roughly 25 along the way, going slightly uphill, 0.5% incline. Might be able to just find a little sweet spot on the throttle. A little higher than that. Definitely a long scenario, any way you look at it. I thought we were gonna be able to do like 40, 50 miles per hour the entire time, but that's, uh, that's not the case, unfortunately. We're going up a much steeper incline now. big incline when you're doing 
almost 70% on the throttle just to keep it going. We're not even increasing speed right now. Crunch, I would definitely do Train Sim World 2, 100%. I would not buy the current Transim World by any means. I'd buy the new one. That's just me. Of course, the new one could have a lot more bugs, so that's the uh, that would be the only downfall, or potential downfall between the two. So we were supposed to be in Washford right now, and still half mile out. Unfortunately. I guess you guys were saying this scenario or this type of route doesn't have any type of um, bronze, silver, or gold medals, right? So I'm probably just going to check mark either way. Alright, so we're clear, I guess, full speed going in. But we got to stop in 800 yards. So let's go ahead and throttle off. We can coast a little bit. Actually, I don't want to throttle all the way off yet. Closer, only because we're only 1.5% incline, which is pretty steep. We're almost automatically braking, which I don't necessarily want to do either. Get inside the cab real quick. much faster but we're already so far behind on the timetable it doesn't really make make much of a difference at this point it is what it is I hate that saying but uh, can't find any better words at the moment let's go ahead and coast it now bit of a downhill section right here. That's yeah, just starting to go downhill. God, I'm just... If I was going to redo this scenario, I would definitely do things a lot differently than what I'm doing right now, but... We're getting there, one way or another. Let's go ahead and open the right side doors. Throw passengers up. We'll head out of here in just a second. It's a good question. Would any of the T, I guess, Train Sim World 1 DLC be available past 820? I'm assuming they would, right? From from what I saw in the QA live stream is that they were never or I guess not getting rid of Train Sim World 1, but maybe I'm wrong. Now, are they going to be updating it or having developers make routes for it? I don't know. I would assume that's all going to switch over to Transom World 2. That's a, that's a Reeves question right there, 100%, either way. I'm going to make uh, Reeves the official Transom World expert of this live stream. <laughs> all right, we're going to load passengers, or I guess shut the doors here in just a second, move on out. Go ahead and lock the doors. Let's go get some power.
What's the next stop? Is it Watchet? Watchet? We're going. That's, that's very. It's very Watchet of you. Uh, we're going to watch. <laughs> is it, okay. Is it watch it or watch it? I don't know. I'm gonna say watch it. That sounds a little better, right? We do have to get under 10 miles per hour and 0.7 miles. Got to keep an eye on that. But we are cleared up to 25 until then. Yeah, you might have to whisper to. Uh, to Reeves racer to get that answer. I don't know if he's still watching or he'll probably pop back in here in a minute one way or another. Oh, we're going downhill. Good thing I was paying attention. Which I really wasn't paying that much attention. All right, so we gotta get down to 10 miles per hour for whatever reason, maybe switching tracks. Maybe hard bend. Brakes are definitely not working as good considering we're going 1.4% decline. Are we still? Shouldn't be losing speed anymore. Should be slow. There it goes. Slow going up now. Okay. I think I just had too much brake pressure on there to begin with. Definitely not helping the timetable at all. Still going relatively slow. slowly breaking at the moment. I think it's going to get us down to 10 just in time. Anyways, if you guys are just tuning in, please, please follow me here on Twitch. I definitely appreciate it. If you're on YouTube, we're at twitch.tv slash the middle age gamer in case this video ever gets uploaded to YouTube for any reason. At the moment, it's not looking very promising. <laughs> <laughs> Considering how far I am behind the timetable, we'll see. Thank you, Beast Boy, for the follow. Definitely appreciate that. We are under 10 miles per hour, or we were. We're going to be, there we go. It's like we're definitely going to be under 10 miles per hour. I just don't know for how long. Okay, for whatever reason, this little section is 10 miles per hour. I'm going up in. Just don't want to speed. I'm in the yellow, which is okay. Don't want to be in the red. Should be getting clearance here in just a second as well. Back up to 25 miles per hour. I feel like I've done this route before. I'm gonna have to go back and look at my YouTube. I don't know if I uploaded it or if I just live streamed it, but this this little section for whatever reason gave me deja vu just now. All right, so we're clear up to 25. Let's go ahead and put some throttle on it. I know we're going downhill, so we don't have to give it as much. here since we're over 20 miles per hour 1.2 miles to watch it probably watch it is the name of the town my good old American pronunciations let's go ahead and initial application on the brake let's 
see if that slows us down enough. Hopefully it does. Looks like it is. Again, if you guys are just tuning in, we will be giving away a free game at the end of the scenario as long as we have five people watching. It looks like we're up to 17 right now. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. I mean, live stream, definitely appreciate it. Hopefully it relaxes you guys as much as it relaxes me. I think I might play a little bit of Call of Duty after this on on stream. Again, not not my fan base by any means, but I've been wanting to play some Warzone. I think it'd be cool to do uh, either singles or duos on there. If anybody out there is really really good at Call of Duty, please message me or send me a quick whisper. Oh yeah, 100% sinker. Are you drinking Makers over there too? If you are, cheers. I will tell you one thing, drinking does not, okay, I'm under 20, which is good. I gotta be under 10, close to the stopping point. Yeah, Maker's Mark does not help your uh, your aim game on Call of Duty, but it does help you drive a little better in uh, Train Sim World. Wow, see, I don't know. I feel like I'm slowing down way too soon. That might be the whiskey as well, unfortunately. And we're definitely getting further and further behind on the uh, schedule as well. <laughs> oh, cr crunch or crunchy, at least, at least you admit it. You know, I don't, I'm probably not that good, but I feel like I do pretty good from time to time in both gunfight and uh, and uh, Warzone as well. Sometimes you just get in those lobbies that, you know, you just get slaughtered and then the more you get slaughtered, it'll, it'll eventually put you into a, an easier lobby and then you just start killing it in that lobby. So there's no rhyme or reason. I wish they had more of a transparent ranking system and show you exactly where you were, what you had to do to get to a higher rank. I don't know if they'll do that in the future, but it definitely needs something like that. Oh, 60 months over, even better. Nothing wrong with being sober. I don't know why I'm not braking right now. There it goes. I'm just getting really worried that the the uh, miles per hours weren't going down while I was braking. Definitely one of the uh, the harder locomotives to control compared to like Long Island Railroad and all the other ones or the. Was it the LIR three year, whatever they call that thing? Yeah, I'm so far behind schedule. <laughs> hey, I should just make a YouTube video saying you're fired. Make it a clickbait for Train Sim World. That'd be pretty funny. Go ahead and break. Go past it. It's like this train wants to break when it wants to break. No rhyme or reason. Oh, the Railway Empire Manual. Yeah, it's a really, really great game. Again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it full price. Wait till it goes on sale, or look at the humble bundle. There's a package out right now for this month that includes Railway Empire. I don't know what the bundle cost in itself, but uh, I would highly, highly recommend playing Railway Empire at some point in the future. Uh, Sinker, have you had a chance to play the game yet or not? I don't know if you're even wanting to play it, but uh, I would definitely give it a go if you haven't already.
There you go, racer. Yeah. God, we still got a long way to go. I think I bit off more than I could chew on this route. 75 minutes of pure slowness is what it should be called. Let's go ahead and release the brakes since it takes a second to get going. Throttle on. Yeah, we're supposed to be at our next location two minutes ago. <laughs> to give you guys an idea of how we're doing right now. Normally not how I do things. I want to be a thousand of a thousand or at least a gold medal, but we'll see what kind of score it gives us at the end of this one. Probably not a good one. Pretty big bend right here. There's a nice view of it right there. As long as we do need to watch our speed coming up. Next stop, Donnaford. Just gonna try to leave throttle on. I should slow down a little bit with just doing that. Let's slow down actually quite a bit. Line over here. Running just a few minutes behind schedule. In real life, it, this would not be a big deal. <laughs> but I'm trying to make a video and being this far behind schedule is not a good thing. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Amtrak ride from Seattle to Vancouver. You go along the coastline. It's a little bit more scenic than this with uh, bigger hillsides on each side. And you kind of get right on the water, which is cool. I wish Dovetail Games would make that route. It's, uh, it's absolutely beautiful. And it's not that long of a route either. So it seems like that's something they could do on their end. Unlock the doors, left hand side, no passengers again. Basically, Reeves, are you saying wait for Transom World 2? So I'm assuming that's what you're saying, right? 
Yeah, Sinker. There, there's no leeway on the timetable on this. I, you know, I really did mess it up on that first one. But even in between the towns, I've lost time. And I'm not going necessarily full throttle, but I'm not slacking per se that much either. So there's, there's no leeway. Let's put it that way. Or very little leeway, unfortunately. It's going to do another train by. A little higher this time. Go ahead and lock the doors. Throttle off. Or throttle on, excuse me, brakes off. Make sure to give it enough throttle so it don't start rolling backwards for any reason. Oh wow, so yeah, there you go, Reeve said it. They are not doing anything else with Transim World DLC unless it's broken, wow. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of stuff has time, or pretty tight timetables, but usually with something like this, it wouldn't be as bad, because the locomotive itself isn't really just stop and go instantly. Yeah, you, you set the brakes, it takes a few seconds for the brakes to take a hold. So, you'd think it would give you a little bit more leeway, but... It is what it is, as I said before. I'm going to speed up, even though I do need to slow down to under 10 miles per hour coming up. Next stop is Willington. Seems like all these stops are relatively close together, too. Wow, first time I hit 20 viewers in a long, long time. It's been years. I mean, me and Bree used to do it all the time. I think we were start. Me and Bree started hitting like 100 viewers at one time when we were doing the whole shot clock thing. But that's kind of when we got. Uh, as soon as we started hitting like 100 plus viewers, we just kind of gave up. We're like. Our bodies can't handle this amount of alcohol and I don't know if we had a falling out or if we were just I think we were just burnt out on streaming honestly at that time. Let's see I'm breaking way way too soon. I don't know why I'm doing that. Yep. Me and Brian. Bree Bree. In fact I need to actually add throttle. Jesus. I'm going uphill now. Uh, man, you all definitely like Transom World. I've always liked it. I played a lot of it when it first came out with the Sam Pratch raid route. Um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely Train Sim. If you like Train Sim, this is this is the go-to game. There is not a better Train Simulator game out there, in my opinion. It does lack some features. There's obviously no multiplayer. Um, there's a lot of things you can't do in this game per se, but it's still fun. Yeah, are you talking about the uh, the Middle Age Gamer song? Who did that? I can't even remember who actually did that. So far behind schedule. Were we were five minutes, six minutes almost. Yeah, someone made a Middle Age Gamer song back in the day. There might have been two different songs. I'd have to go back and look, but definitely crazy been streaming since at least or YouTube been streaming probably since 2013 on YouTube Oops, going too fast what is going on one mile per hour coming up oh it's after We've got to stop anyways I was confused by what was coming up but it looks like we're stopping before we get to the red signal so that's good I feel kind of bad for not like regularly updating YouTube and staying on Twitch the entire time I think things would be a lot different had I but man real life comes first family comes first my job is crazy so I'm always super super busy and that's what feeds my family so between Twitch 
which is a hobby and making money in my real life. I got to make money. It's just the way it goes. might be longer than a 75 minute scenario. You know, you know how I was talking about wanting those two, three hour scenarios? I don't know now. <laughs> I, might, I might be backtracking on that at this moment. I guess it depends on if it was a high speed train and we're going fast expanses, I think doing 25 miles per hour this entire time is a little crazy. No problem. Good, good. Kids are good. Everybody's good. <laughs> yeah. So I got from from. I'm not married to her anymore. Uh, that's actually my ex-wife now, which, which is crazy. I'm selling my. I still work with my ex-wife. Selling my house to my ex-wife. Moving back in to my girlfriend's house. Still have my place downtown. I bought land to build a custom-built house. But things. Yeah. Life's been crazy. Kids are good. Um, I still have a daughter, obviously. I have a son now that's two years old. I got two stepkids, so four kids all together. But everybody's good, so. Yeah, Manuel, definitely streaming as much as possible. I don't have any way to make a set schedule as of right now, which I would really like to do. Um, but I'm going to be streaming a lot more lately. I got my whole setup done. Everything is good to go. What up, AC? How's it going, man? Always good to see you pop in. All right, staying under 10 miles per hour. Curious to see where I'm at on the map because I feel like from the past maybe 20, 30 minutes, we haven't moved very far. We're actually going 5.6 miles this time, which is nice. Hopefully we can do a little bit faster than 25 miles per hour, but let's look on the map. Okay, so we're gonna be taking out a big chunk of the map next, which is good. Not to say I'm done with doing this route, but I'm done doing this route at this moment. Thank you, man. Definitely appreciate it, Manuel. Glad you're doing good, AC, as always. I think my goal on the live streams is not necessarily streaming much, much more, but I will be on a lot more. I think it's going to be making the stream better. Just higher quality is what I really want to get to. Because everything I've set up on my stream is from, what, a few years back. There's people that have added so much more. There's so many more tools now than there were back in the day. So I want to make it more interactive. I want to play multiplayer with you guys and actually have you in the channel doing stuff. But it's all to come in the future at some point. What up, Tomato? Yeah, max for the whole line is 25. It's the West Somerset Railway, in case you guys are just tuning in. If you haven't already, please, please follow me here at twitch.tv slash middleagegamer. I also have a YouTube channel uh, you guys can check out as well. It has quite a few videos on there, so if you like watching Train Simulator or other simulation games, uh, head over to the YouTube channel. There's a whole backlog of years and years of really good videos and some bad videos. So... If I go back and look at like my videos from 2013, 2014, they're pretty cringeworthy, but a lot of the, a lot of the new stuff's pretty decent. Right, let me slow down throttle. Still losing a little bit of speed. Damn, tomato. Yeah, that's a long time since November 9th, 20. I didn't think 
Yeah, I guess I did start live streaming in 2014, 2015-ish, so that's about right. It's definitely a long time. Yeah, I agree, AC. It's, there's not a new construction sim out, is there? We need to find a game. Like, obviously, I'm going to be playing the um, uh, Snow Runner. So I'm down to play that here coming up. But uh, as far as construction sim, I don't want to go back and play the old construction sim. If there was a new one that was out, I would definitely do it. Did we take shots every 30 minutes? I remember one night we did, I think we counted 17 shots in total. Uh, I couldn't do that now. My body definitely couldn't handle it, nor do I want to be that drunk. I like getting buzzed. I do not like heavy drinking. It just makes me feel like absolute crap the next day. I'm too old for it. I don't want to go to work hungover. I hate, hate being hungover in general. I can't drink like I was drinking when I was in the army or when I was 17, 18. It's just, it's not possible anymore. Yeah, no, no. I'm, you know, I probably should have had alcohol poisoning back in the day, but I was so, I had such a high tolerance for alcohol. And when we, when we were doing those shots, the crazy thing was, because we spread them out so much, I didn't really get drunk. I just, it's just bad for your heart. I a lot of red, a lot of Jaeger. Yep, there you go, Reeves. Spin tires, mud runner, snow runner. The evolution of the game right there. Going back to play the original spin tires right now is cringe worthy too. It looks it looks pretty bad if you go back and play it. But at the time I was like, man, this game's amazing. The physics and the uh, all the mud and everything. I'm sure that uh, mud runner still looks pretty decent. Snow runner looks absolutely amazing. At least we're knocking down some miles. Four miles to go. I don't think we're going to make up the time. We've got five minutes to get there, but doing 25 miles per hour, I'm sure it's going to take about 10 minutes to get, get that far. It is, yeah. 100% Reeves. Dope is the right word. Sick. Even if I'm just playing by myself one day, just watching different camera angles of going through the mud. It's pretty amazing. Oh, nice sinker. I haven't, I haven't touched it since we beat that one mission, so I need to get back into it. Turn my AC off for a second. It's like freezing in here. a thermostat to you somewhere. Uh, since we've got quite a few people in here, I do have a question for you guys. I asked it the other night on the live stream when there's only two or three people. Would you guys prefer the green screen that I have now or would you guys prefer like a, like a template layout where you can see what's behind me? That is the question. Of course, right now behind me is just a wall and a green screen, but I would make it look cool, have like a logo, maybe some games, maybe some different lights. Would you guys prefer the green screen look like it is now, or would you prefer to see what's actually behind me and have a kind of a decent setup on that? Oh, nice sinker. I didn't know you played with Coaster the other night, but that's cool. Oh, nice tomato. I got two people saying green screen is nice, <coughs> which is kind of the opposite of the last live stream. A lot of people were saying they would rather see what's behind me and have it set up with the logo. I don't know if I could do both at some point and switch it up, but... Uh... There you go. Okay. Thank you guys for that. Thank you, Offroader. Thank you, Sinker. 
for your feedback. It's definitely appreciated. Let's look at the map, or map real quick. So yeah, I don't know how far we're going. I want to say it's like to this area. I'm just glad we are knocking some of this out. to the end. I think we're going to be stopping at the next stop and then probably a pretty long way to the, the last stop. So really, the beginning of this route is where all of the uh, stations are, the platforms. Yeah, Tomato, that's, that's definitely a long time. Hey, thank you, Joseph, for the, uh, for the feedback as well. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, had a... <laughs> was it... No, it was a British flag, wasn't it? Maybe, maybe it was a Union flag. I don't know. I think I had a British flag at my old house. From what I can remember. And I'm pretty sure my dog tore it up. And I got Sadie, which my... I don't have my dog in here right now, but... I have a black lab that's about five years old right now. Oh, is it? Is it called the Union Jacks? Yeah, I don't know that. I should know that. I've been to England a few times. In fact, I grew up in Europe, so I should know. But yeah, definitely had it. Had a rug. Makes me want to get it again, man. I, I, like, I like that rug. I actually miss that rug. And I don't care about furniture at all. I really don't, except for the chair I'm in now, which I love. Herman Miller. It's definitely good for sitting long hours. I do a lot of real estate, which uh, requires a lot of contract writing. Sitting on that computer is definitely helpful. Yeah, I'm with the off-roader. I'm not, I'm not that bright, guys. I'm, I'm very smart in specific areas, but overall, I should know that, though. Oh, there you go, tomato. Give you some American history. I know a lot of Italian and German history because I lived there for a few years too. Never lived in England, but I traveled there quite a bit. Been to London a few times. All right, just over two miles to go. Procum Heathfields. I'm sure I'm butchering the name of that, but uh, that's where we're headed next. Glasgow. Nice. Definitely want to take a trip overseas. You know, I don't know. Are you guys on? If you're uh, from overseas, how is the lockdown there right now? Are you guys still on like major lockdown? I know tickets are super cheap to go overseas, but a lot of the flights are getting canceled, and a lot of countries are not letting U.S. passengers into their country, which is a good thing because the U.S. is not handling the COVID situation the correct way by any means. like going uphill though which is nice I don't have to worry about the speed so much uh, okay so yeah making people quarantine upon arrival So at the end of this scenario, we'll be doing a game giveaway. I'm probably going to switch over to Call of Duty. Again, I don't expect anybody to watch Call of Duty, but I'm going to play some probably uh, gunfight on there or some Warzone. I'll probably do Warzone at first, maybe a little bit of gunfight after the fact. Or vice versa. Maybe gunfight will help me uh, warm up a little bit to get into Warzone. But I'll be doing a game giveaway. I'll have to get a little bit more whiskey, which will not help me in my Call of Duty aiming abilities by any means uh, but as long as we have five people here by the end of the stream we'll do the game giveaway so that's most important which I think will easily exceed that we're at 15 
ish right now. Well, it's definitely appreciate everybody for caught or you know coming by, watch the live stream. If you haven't yet followed, please hit the follow button on Twitch. Definitely keeps me going to do future live streams as well. Yeah, good old COD. I have a friend or two that play duos on there. If I can, if I can get a guy that's good, which I have a few of them on my friends list in COD, I will uh, add them and play some duos more than likely. I was playing duos at like 1 a.m. last night uh, with one of my friends, and I think we work we work pretty well together in that game. All right, so we got to be under 20 miles per hour and 0.8 miles, 0.9 to our stopping location. And the game feels a little bit more smooth with this new monitor I'm using too. I ended up getting a, a 240 Hz monitor, which I was talking about before, but in case you guys weren't here. But it has the NVIDIA G-Sync on here, so the game seemed much more smooth. Of course, Call of Duty, night and day compared to my old monitor. Uh, but even this game definitely feels a little better. All right, I do need to watch out. I'm gonna reduce my throttle to 20%, see if I can shed just a little bit of a speed. Yeah, I don't I don't play a whole lot of Warzone. I'm really more of a gunfight person. I play a little bit of multiplayer too, but gunfight for me is really what is addicting. They're they're quick games, first team to six matches, and I just do random teams. Uh only thing I hate about Call of Duty in general is just so toxic. Everybody in that game is 100% toxic. Are people still on Division 2? Like, if you can you get on servers and find people online? I feel like that game's been out for a few years now, hasn't it? I really like playing Division 1. I think that was uh, maybe the last game I played with uh, Bree Bree that I can remember. Is it still popular? Okay. First one had its kind of shortcomings, but I'm sure they, they fixed a lot of those on Division 2. Yeah, we're five minutes, six minutes behind, which is what I was expecting. I think I thought I was going to be ten minutes behind, so it's not as bad as I, what I was thinking originally, but... losing too much speed. AC, how good are you at Call of Duty? Are you good enough to carry me? <laughs> if, if so, we can uh, hop on there together and play. I think I'd be pretty good. The only problem is I've been drinking. Like I said, drinking and Call of Duty do not mix whatsoever. run past this quite a bit. Still good. I really think this monitor is maybe better. I've only had it, like I said, a day. But I feel like my old monitor, it wasn't lag, but it felt like I had to almost pre-aim in front of them a little bit more. Whereas this one, where I'm aiming is exactly where I'm hitting at that specific moment in time. Which wasn't the case in my old monitor, which was 60 hertz, I wanna say, 50, 60 hertz. So there, 
it's definitely at an advantage. If someone has a good gaming rig and a good, you know, at least 144 hertz monitor, it makes a huge difference in first person shooter games. And it's almost like a, it should be like an illegal advantage, but it's, it's definitely an advantage either way. All right, final stops coming in after this one. Let's go ahead and lock the doors on the left hand side. All right, no problem, Reeves. Yeah, I don't expect my viewer count to stay up even remotely this high when I play Call of Duty, but. No, is the, is the class nine like the little shunning locomotive? I have not tomato as of yet. Unless it was back in the day when this, when this first came out. I don't know if I've done all these scenarios already and have them on YouTube or not, or if this is the first time I'm doing it. I feel like I've done this route before, but I, I can't confirm it. I have to go back and kind of look at my, my YouTube videos to see what I have or have not done. Looks like we're going downhill this time though. 3.6 miles to our last stop and we may, have to be, may have to do 20 miles per hour the whole time. Hopefully not, but we shall see. Again, if you guys hang around till the end of the scenario, we're going to do another game giveaway before I take a quick break and switch to Call of Duty. Okay, we did get clearance to 25, which is nice. So nice of the game to give us that extra five miles per hour. <laughs> but we're, we're getting it one way or another. We'll look at the train cam, see if it's still working. It's still up. I have not heard a train go by in the past 45 minutes or however long we've been live streaming since the last train. The last train that went by was a uh, Kansas City Southern. We normally get a lot of um, Union Pacific, which is the main railroad company here, BNSF, we get some Ferromex and some other ones too, but I'm not sure why the trains aren't running right now. It seems like it just rained, it would be a good time to run them, but who knows, I'm not in the train world, I don't know what is a good weather pattern for them to run in, or what their schedule is like. Okay, so class 20 for this route and T's value was the last DLC to release in June. Okay, good to know Reeves. I feel like COVID has limited a lot of things or lowered a lot of things on the boat. You know, I'm into real estate right now and business is booming because the mortgage rates are so low. But on like new home builds, they're having a problem getting a lot of supplies in to complete the home. So a build that would normally take on like a track built house, which would be four to five months, is taking six to seven months because of material delays. That's all due to uh, COVID. Getting closer, 2.7 miles to go. And I'm pretty sure by the time this scenario is over, they're definitely gonna fire me. fired from this. They're going to be like, you're so far behind schedule. You are no longer working for us. You can go to the coal mines to make money and support your family. You're no longer an engineer at this point. a pretty looking train though. I'm not big on uh, green and yellow per se, but it's not a bad looking train by any means.
There you go, Tomato. Hey, Tomato, if you can, if you're still on there, what's the video I actually uploaded of the West Somerset Railway? Kind of curious. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Racer. <laughs> That's going to be the commercial. We will definitely get you there on our time, not your time. Finishing up? Okay. Alright. So potentially I could have you, two YouTube videos if I wanted to. I don't know if I'm going to make any of this a YouTube video, honestly, but I at least have some footage, which is nice. I don't think I've uploaded anything. I think the last video I uploaded to YouTube was for um, was it Chapter 5 of Railway Empire. Which is like my nemesis chapter it took me three times on live stream to beat that. Very, very hard chapter in that game. Let's go back inside. Let's go. I'll be so happy when the scenario is over. As much as I love Train Sim World, this is a long scenario. Okay, one so one hour, almost one hour thirty minutes, pretty close to it. Definitely be over an hour and a half video if I did upload it to YouTube. What's the metrics on YouTube? So I think most people that I watch, they were making like ten minute videos. And now I think YouTube has allowed them to add in ads on eight minute videos. So now you see all these videos coming out that are like eight minutes, one second, or whatever the case may be. Um, I, don't, I just don't play games where I can make an eight minute video. It's not possible. And I'm not gonna say anybody likes to watch an hour and a half video of me driving trains, but that's what my, <laughs> that's what my channel's based around for, for better or worse. Anyways, we're definitely chipping away at this last mile, 1.3 miles. Looks like just before we get to the final stop, we do have to get down to 10 miles per hour. If you look at the top right, not a big deal. I've made it this far. I'm pretty sure I can finish the scenario without failing it. Again, we're a little late. The boss is going to fire us when we get there, but that's what we have to do. Anyways, if you guys are watching, please, please put cheers into the message box. Just say what's up to everybody on YouTube. I'm going to ask all people watching on YouTube to do the same thing. Put cheers in the comment section below. And uh, we may even do like some type of game giveaway on YouTube. Oh, I do hear a train, guys. So I'm going to pause the game here in a second. Now's a good time. Train cam. Cheers for everybody. Let's see what kind of train we got passing by right now. Got a freaking gigantic on the screen. I should make that smaller. Cheers, everybody. Let's see what we have on. The, it's so weird. The train cam's working fine today, which is really strange. There you go. Frame rate's not that great but it's never been that great so
This one almost looks like what I call the junk train, but I don't, I don't think it is. I think it's a longer. No, maybe that is the junk train. That's the train they fill up with all like the metal, scrap metal and stuff when they're working on the tracks. That's what it looks like. A little suburban going past. So I think that's my neighbor. I don't know why they're going so slow. All right, back to the game. Let's go ahead and finish up this scenario. Yep, Union Pacific. Couldn't tell you which locomotive it is offhand, but that's the bulk of the trains that go through here. We see Amtrak every now and then. They come through here, I think once a day, but it's pretty late at night when they come through. I hear another train, but there's no way. Maybe it's Thunder, I don't know. All right, getting pretty close to the end here. Only 800 yards to go. I need to start slowing down. And we're about six minutes late so far. I'm just gonna be glad when it's over. Hopefully this is the last um, train station we're going to. I think it is. to get under five miles per hour too but there's that that's after we stop isn't it looks like it yeah get down yeah so there's there is a hit a red stop signal just past where we're supposed to stop so i gotta be pretty careful on that i could get all the way to this point only to completely destroy the scenario and go through the stopping point. I have to do it all over again. Don't want to do that. I don't know if playing Call of Duty is a good idea. Drinking. It really doesn't feel like a good idea. I've had a lot of these scenarios on like the old train simulator where I would get this far only to like there'd be like some special like slow down in speed or a red signal that they don't tell you about. That game was horrible at that. And I had to redo the whole scenario because I'd want to do a thousand of a thousand points to put it up on YouTube. Anyway, it's taking my time in here. I'm already getting fired. There's nothing else I can do at this point other than not destroy the scenario or, or ruin the scenario. Yeah, the German the German routes were the worst. Absolutely the worst. Uh, what's going on? Why am I slowing down? Yeah, the 09. I see the 09 to the left right there. All right, that should be good right there. Go ahead and unlock the left-hand side. 
Yep, there it is. That beautiful shunting of a locomotive right there. All right, we'll do a game giveaway here in just a second, guys. And I'm probably going to have to run inside to uh, grab another drink before starting Call of Duty. Don't expect anybody to say to, to see me play Call of Duty, but you're more than welcome to hang out with me if you want to. Super Bronk. Definitely looks beastly. I know it's, it's all uh, torque, but... Uh, It's not, it's not, at least not to me. Please, yes, yes, it's over. It's over. I think you only get a check mark on this uh, scenario. There's no gold medals or anything. So I guess it really doesn't matter your due in actual arrival time. You can see it was late from the get go. Two minutes, two minutes, three minutes three minutes and so, so on, so on. But yeah, that's it. That's going to be, let me go back to the uh, main menu. Just to see, I want to make sure it gives us a check mark on there. Not that it really matters considering train sim world two is coming out. There we go. That was land cruise guys. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe at twitch.tv slash gamer. Hit the like button, comment, put cheers if you guys can and uh, if you guys are on twitch.tv um, I will be doing some Call of Duty here in just a second I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the break time cam while I go get another drink real fast <laughs>